I guess um, to start with, um, I first found out about Moosin from YouTube videos. Um, so um, my teacher, Ennio Nicotra, I saw a video of him back in 2014 on YouTube. And from that, I discovered um, Ilya Moosin. So my, my first recollections of, of Moosin are from, from videos, really, and then from talking to other students about um, his life and uh, experiences. I don't think there's any other system or technique like it because what it does is it gives you the absolute foundations for, for conducting for music um, and through that gradually you learn how to um, free yourself on stage when you're conducting and show um, what you want through your own interpretation of music. So. Um, the technique is very, very important, but then it gives you so much more um, and allows you the freedom to, to express character, um, which is so important in music. I think there are lots of schools in the world now that don't teach um, the importance of technique and building a character. It's much more about getting through repertoire. Um, but with Moosin's system, every student has the ability to learn at their own speed. Um, and you build up the repertoire gradually um, and then it gives you the freedom then to explore more difficult repertoire and, and other music too. Uh, just by accident I found out about Musin. I think I didn't discover that he taught people like Temir Karnoff, like Ennio Nicotra, Sean Edwards until after I started conducting but I think what has been interesting for me is to find out about Musin's relationship with important composers like Shostakovich um, and how that tradition, um, through difficult times, um, the heritage of, of music in St. Petersburg, um, and, and Musin almost grew up together. So for me, being here in St. Petersburg is really important because you get a real feel for the importance of music in this city, but also you get a real feeling for the, for the legacy that, that Musin has, has left behind too, for conductors.